am I in focus? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. First off, apologies for just being in some linen shorts and a little crop top. It is really humid in here. It's not even sunny, like there's barely any sun, but it is so humid in here. I did try and put on a cute outfit and I just thought, you know what, I'm just not comfortable. I'm gonna put on my trusty linen shorts. I'll link these down below if they're still in stock. Um, I've worn them literally every day since I got them, so yeah. <laughs> so today I'm gonna go through some of my fave midi dresses in my collection for summer and I'm also going to talk to you about how I've been styling each of these dresses. I'm not a big midi gal to be completely honest with you. Um, I haven't bought many this year, I haven't. I've only bought ones that I really really like and really see myself wearing. Some of these were gifted, I will let you know which ones. Um, but these are the ones that have really kind of taken over my closet and the ones I'm going to keep for next year because I've been wearing them so much and I've really enjoyed um, what like the outfits I can make with them. I hope that makes sense. Whereas with a lot of midis often in the past I've bought them, worn them maybe once or twice and then they don't get any good wear out of them because I think where am I gonna wear that? So I will show you guys how I'm styling these as well and just a little bit about each of the dresses, where they're from, I'll link them all down below. You know the drill. Right, okay, let's do this. First off is this absolute stunner from Damson Matter. They did send me this, but oh my God, it is, oh, cat hair. It is gorgeous. I love the back, the tie detail. It's got this stretchy, stretchy back as well. And then the sleeves are puffed. It's in this gorgeous like linen or like thick cotton material. And the bottom is tiered. Um, disclaimer, I did get it taken up by about five inches off the bottom. Um, because I am five foot two, so I did get five inches taken off by my local tailor, um, and it fits really, really nicely. I absolutely love this. I love it even more than I thought I would, which is crazy because I saw it online and I was like, oh, that's gorgeous. But on, it's so light. I wore this on one of the 28 degree days that we've had recently, and it was so light. I would definitely pack this for, for like going on holiday. Um, but um, before that I wouldn't have because I would have thought it would be too heavy, but really it almost acts as shade for your whole body and it's really lightweight. The material is gorgeous. It doesn't like collect heat. Stunning, I absolutely love it. So I actually went really casual when I styled this um, when I was away and I styled with Birkenstocks just because I feel like it kind of adds a little bit of like edge to the outfit whilst they're also comfortable. I'm actually looking for a pair of um, like white Birkenstocks because I feel like that would be like a really good combo with that. And I also started with a classic basket bag just because a dress like this deserves a basket bag. It really does. It adds that sort of cottage core, prairie girl, country life vibe to it. Um, and it kind of, with the Birkenstocks as well, it feels very like casual, but also like you're living in Bridgerton. But if I was dressing it up, I would probably pair it with heels like this, just to add a little bit of sex appeal to the outfit. And it also has quite a lot of color, so you can choose one of those colors and then like color match your heels and accessories to the outfit. But um, if I was gonna dress this up, I would definitely dress it up with something sexy, just because it is quite a big smock dress. Um, and if I was to put on like really chunky shoes, it would be a lot. So I'd go for like something strappy, something sexy. Next up we have this little number from House of Sunny. This was sent to me by a brand called Endless Wardrobe who sell and rent out designer pieces. So you can also rent this on their website just in case you just wanna wear it for one occasion or you wanna just try it and see how it fits before you actually buy it. It's a really good option. They do loads of really great brands, including House of Sunny. And I had to get the Hockney dress. The back of the dress is so stunning. It is gorgeous. It is one of those thick knitted dresses I would not recommend for like really, really hot weather. But on a day like today where it's quite humid, but like outside it's actually like a good solid 20-ish degrees, you could definitely get away with wearing this out and about. I have previously styled this with thick fit flops or like toe thongs, whatever you want to call them, just because I feel like that kind of adds to the whole uh, vintage vibe, the sort of 90s, 2000s vibe, the Y2K, it kind of gives that sort of look to it. I also styled it with 
an equally similar kind of vintage style bag just because I feel like it gives that vintage look to it. I have seen people style this dress also with heels and stuff but personally I think it looks a little better styled casually just because it is knitted it is a more casual dress but you could definitely style it with trainers if that's your vibe or like maybe some streppy white or black heels but really the dress is everything. I wouldn't want to style it with any colour because I just feel like it would just detract from how gorgeous this pattern and colour is. Next up is this one from Zara. Now I absolutely love this one because it has this thigh, leg thigh slit. Um, gorgeous, stunning. It also has this lace up detail back. Um, it's so hard to show you on the hanger but it's got this gorgeous lace up back and the colour is absolutely gorgeous. One of the best things about this dress, especially if you are mid-size or on the curvy side, is this slit. So, so flattering. And the back is super, super sexy. In terms of styling, I have this bag from the JWP, JWP, I can never pronounce it, which would just work perfectly to add like a little pop of colour. And then if you wanted to go very paired back, just a pair of little sandals, little white sandals on nude sandals, I think it just says everything. Leaving the back to do the talking, leaving the thigh slit to do the talking, I think this is a great, great combo. And it's really nice for just like, I don't know, occasion wear this summer, just a really nice wedding outfit perhaps, or maybe you're going to a christening or barbecue or some form of event this summer. It's just a really laid back outfit that also says, I feel and look really good today. Next up is this one from H&M, and this one I actually found quite difficult to style because this dress is a lot, you'll see what I mean. So it has all of these frills, gorgeous, stunning. The front is like a pinafore style, so it's very like quite high neck square. And then the back is a gorgeous tie neck back with this elasticated bit here. And these ones I particularly find hard to style because you've got color, you've got pattern, there's a lot going on. And it can be really intimidating to style this outfit because there is just so much going on in the front and in the back it can be a bit intense. So in terms of styling I have this gorgeous big H&M bag that really goes with the dress. I think that it's gorgeous. It's just the biggest bag. It looks like the, I can't pronounce it, the Loewe, is that how you pronounce it? Basket bag. It is gorgeous. I think it just makes for a really nice pair with this outfit and also comfy espadrilles which I think are just such a good summer staple especially for I don't know if you're if you're short like me if you're if you're shorty like me um girls we love a little bit of a comfy heel these wedges are so comfortable espadrilles are always on trend for summer I think that sometimes well, I don't know wedges aren't exactly the most on trend thing right now but they are very comfortable and anything with an espadrille sole you can really get away with every summer Every summer I have had a shoe with an espadrille sole um, and you can really get away with wearing a comfy, comfy shoe. This outfit in general is really nice for like weddings, for occasions, just because the shoe is so comfortable. This is light and airy and it's also quite covered up. You have the little bit of the peekaboo sexy back, but also pairing it with like pared down items is really nice as well because the dress does all the talking. Next up are these two dresses. I shared these with you guys in my River Island haul. Haul. I'm gonna mention them both together because I would style them very similarly to be honest. They're both um, sorbet colours as you can see and they're both long tiered dresses. This one is just ruffles and this one has a little tie back. You can pretty much style any brightly coloured plain dress you have like this. I'm not talking um, like this with the bright in the pattern, I'm talking like plain, plain outfits like this, like plain pieces. So you could go quite a few ways with these dresses. For instance, this with either of these dresses is a gorgeous color clash, stunning color clash. The green just pops, 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 pops. Not to mention, throw on a green pair of heels and you have like such an ultimate color clash. It's gorgeous. And I guess it's only one for those who actually enjoy color clashes. If you're not into color clashes, this is not for you, but I would totally wear this color, color clash together. I absolutely love pinks and oranges with green. If you're not into color clashes, you could go with a bag that contains some of the colors that you are trying to style from the dress. For instance, this bag has pinks, oranges, yellows, everything, boom. Like you could just add it to either of these dresses and it would be really cute on the shoulder because the colors 
really do complement on each of these dresses. It's a trick I like to use. If you have a bag with maybe some flowers on it and the flowers are the same colour as your dress, boom, outfit. I absolutely love this way of styling things. It's so, so, so easy. In terms of shoes, if you're looking to go neutral and dressy, you could go for a cute little white mule. I have these ones from Bershka. They are really, really, really cute to just style with any colour. Very cute, very muted, but a really good solid heel on them. Very on trend because they are mules. Or you could go for a very classic barely there sort of sandal. You could even go for, like for flats, but similar to this which is very pared down, very neutral, and lets the dress do the talking. There's so many ways to style bright midi dresses, guys, and you know, it's all about your own personal style and how you feel comfortable with styling them. They also can look really, really cute with trainers. Unfortunately, because I am only five foot two, with these midi dresses, they do come up as maxis on me, so the trainers look slightly odd. They don't look they don't look great on me, but I've seen other girls wear um, big colourful dresses like this with like white trainers and it looks so 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 nice, but on me because I'm so short it doesn't, but it's definitely something to try if you are taller than me, or even if you are the same height as me, it might just work on you better, but it just doesn't, doesn't look good on me, but that is another option for styling colourful midis. Next up I have the ivory midi, the white midi, the cream midi, we love her. She's so versatile. I absolutely love this one. Again, it's from my River Island haul. This one's so flattering. It's so flattering. It's not tight at all. It's really, really flattering. I mean, I got so many compliments when I wore this. Again, it's a little bit thick, so I wouldn't wear this in totally hot weather, but it's really, really nice for just like throwing on to just go out on the weekend and just to feel good in. This is the sort of dress that you could do an all white look in. You could literally chuck on some white shoes and a white bag and just have a classic all white look or you could possibly do a look with a basket bag hold on a minute like this very cute very cottage core now nods to cottage core with the bag really really sweet with the espadrilles it's a look if you also like to uh, make things a little bit more edgy you could add a pair of like platform black sandals hold on a minute there we go okay platform of black sandals to something like this just to add a little bit of edge add a black bag and you can make it far more edgy. It depends on what you're feeling, but I feel like a cute little edgy look could look really cute too. And there is also the option of adding a pair of bright sandals and a bright bag to like liven up the look. This out of all the dresses is one of the most versatile. I'll show you the other most versatile next, but yeah, you can style this with so many different things. And girls, if you're gonna buy a midi dress, for this summer and you haven't got one yet or maybe you have one in your wardrobe that you haven't worn likeliness is it's either black and either white and they're the most versatile out of all the dresses dig them out of your wardrobe and start pairing them up with color combos neutral accessories black accessories you can wear them a million ways on to the probably the most versatile out of all these dresses and it is the classic black midi we love a black midi, classic black midi. This one's from H&M. It has a little knot front, it has a knot back, so these are all cutouts. Therefore, it's a little it's a little bit on the sexy side, but like not too much. It's not a plunge or anything like that. So I have worn this very easily as a day dress and I haven't had any issues with wearing it. <laughs> I haven't felt like it's just too much for the day. And I've also worn it at night to a dinner and I felt really, really good in it. Very, very comfortable. Very easy to style. This one is one of my favourites because it's really flattering, covers the arms, it also skims over the hips which is really nice as well, very very flattering and the knot front, it just nods to a little bit of cleavage but it's not like intense, it's not too much, it's very classy. Now a classy dress like this you can style, like I said, in the day, in the evening, you can style it with a lot of different things. So the evening that I wore this dress I styled it with these mules which I just thought were the cutest little combination, just because it just adds that air of sophistication with the covered up mules, very grown up, very mature, very like, ooh, drinks, very cute. And I also styled it with this bag, which I think is a bit strange, but it just adds that pop of color to the black, which just sets it off. Also, it was my new bag, I'd only got it that week, and this outfit of all black and just this pop of green is very look at my bag. If you want, if you've got a new bag and you want people to look at it, wear all black and then the bag, <laughs> because people will look at it, especially if it's like a light color or a bright color. Yeah, that's what I wore for the evening and I felt like everyone was looking at my bag and I was very, very happy with that. <laughs> 
You could also style it with something like this, which are the chunky shoes. These are a little bit more edgy, just because the dress is so sophisticated and very, um, very feminine, even though it's black, which is which is what what I really like about this dress. You can add a bit of edge with something like this, a chunky sandal or Birkenstocks during the day, just to add a little bit of edge to the outfit and to kind of tone down how feminine it is for the day. If that's what you're feeling, I actually really enjoy it. I feel like it makes it a little bit more casual and a little bit more wearable. Like I said before, with black and white dresses, you can grab colorful accessories um, like these pink stripy sexy sandals and the pink bag and you can create a whole other look You could also take these accessories and put them on the white dress I just showed you and do the same thing. It's so easy to style up plain dresses Especially for 2021 because we're all about color pops all about color combos Throw on some colors and see what works because it's all about the color combos right now So dig out those midi dresses that are plain especially black and white ones and throw on some colorful accessories Which you're bound to have bought because it's very on trend right now Don't tell me I don't have a colorful pair of shoes like this at home lying around and you haven't worn them because this is the time to dig those out. Next up is a special mention. This one is from Chi Chi London. Long story short, I was meant to go to an award ceremony um, in 2020, which got canceled due to COVID. So I had this dress. It was very long, it was a floor length dress. And for the occasion, I got it altered to be a midi dress. So it was originally a full length, like full length gown. And I had it altered to be a midi dress, as you can see. And I've had nowhere to wear it so I'm going to share it with you guys because I think it's a really nice wedding dress I like to go to a wedding and um, I also feel like if you see a garment on a website and you kind of think oh I wish that was a midi I wish that was a midi I love it but I wish that was a midi dress get it tailored get it tailored by your local tailor um, they make alterations and they can make a gorgeous midi dress out of it when I got this dress originally it was literally trailing on the floor and I wasn't vibing with it I wasn't feeling the floor length style thought it was too much so I got it taken up so it's a lovely midi fit and it is the perfect going to a wedding wedding guest outfit especially for summer this is just stunning to style this one up i would definitely go for a classic um strappy bag very classic nothing too overstated because of the dress and also white shoes i just think this outfit is just so cute especially for like a wedding guest outfit very summery very floaty very gorgeous any sort of occasion wear this is just lets the dress do the talking. To be honest, this is probably the only way I'd style this dress because I feel like adding too much color would just detract from the gorgeous, stunning design of the dress. So yeah, this is what I would wear if I was going to a summer wedding, which I'm not, but look how gorgeous it is. Such a nice combo. Last but not least, I have my house of CB dresses. You'll be able to see my yellow one here and then this is the pink one um they're gorgeous they're so stunning this one has a lovely little thigh slit here the top is really really cute very um very bridgerton very cottage core um it's actually quite a heavy dress so please do keep that in mind if you do order it it's not the lightest of dresses it also has all of this padding and stuff in the sleeves the material is very thick and it is like boned like corseted so it is quite a thick heavy dress if you are thinking of wearing this to a wedding or somewhere outside it's going to be quite hot keep that in mind maybe bring a change of dress just in case it is very thick <laughs> i wear a size medium and i'm about a size 10 with a 30 e cup chest and this fits really nicely the chest is a tiny bit tight but the waist fits really nicely so i don't really mind it all that much i think this is gorgeous i know someone who's worn this to their bridal shower i've known someone who to wear this for someone else's baby shower i've heard someone wear this as a um, as bridesmaid dresses some people have ordered these bridesmaid dresses they're really versatile i absolutely love it little bit spenny little bit spenny so how do we style it so I actually love styling the House of CB dresses with my Ego Gucci do. If you have real Gucci's, it will look even nicer, but I love styling them with the Gucci dupes. I just think it looks so cute. It's very understated, but not too cottagecore, like a little bit luxury as well. I love the way it looks. And I almost always style them with a basket bag just to add that little nod to kind of prairie girl country, um, cottagecore, but also with the shoes, it adds a little bit of more of a luxury feel to the outfit, 
Whereas I think, feel like with espadrilles, this could just go too, too far because of all the pattern and all the flowers and all of that. So yeah, that's how I've been styling both of these House of CB dresses. And I must say they're my favorite dresses that I own. I love them. They are expensive, but they're worth every penny. Okay everyone, so that is my 2021 midi dress collection. That's how I'm styling my midi, mid, mm -hmm. still getting used to these braces guys. Midi dresses, that's how I'm styling my midi dresses. And these are my absolute faves for the season. I'm definitely going to be, these are the dresses I'm gonna be keeping and putting away under my bed for next year. I feel like I will rewear all of them. They're very, very wearable um, and just really classic. To be completely honest with you, it's gonna, it's, I can't really choose a favorite because these are all so nice. But I will say probably this one currently, the, the Damps Matter, just because it's the newest one and it's still shiny. Do you know what I mean? Like it's still new, it's still shiny. Um, and I can't wait to style it with so many different things. I absolutely love it. And obviously the two classic black and white dresses, which are so different, but so versatile. As always, let me know your favorite outfit in the comment section down below. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mm-hmm.